Hey, coming up today on Afternoon Live, we'll share things that you should be doing today to get your house ready for winter. Plus, we're going to show you one dress and how to wear it three different ways. And we're taking you on a neon sign walking tour of Portland. It's cool, right? Plus, it's Friday. And Afternoon Live starts right now. I just want to make sure that everybody knows this. We're going to have more information about Teresa here and her classes for you on our website at khu.com. We're going to get to peeling, and I want to tell you, coming up next, we're going for a walk to look at neon signs. So hang on. We'll be right back. Oh, look it. It's turning into a party. back to Afternoon Live. If you're looking for something unique and fun to do this weekend, how about a neon walking tour? It is absolutely a thing and our next guest is going to show us what it's all about. We welcome neon artist and sign designer Kate Widows is with us. Kate, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. So I've never heard of a neon walking tour. What is that? Well, it takes about two hours. It's two miles. And I walk a bunch of people around downtown Portland mm -hmm. looking at historic neon signs. And it's a, and, and people look, do you do it at night so people can see the, yeah, the neon we, brightness? Yes, we start usually right after the sun goes down. Okay, okay. So, so and people really like to, to do this kind of tour. How did you get into neonism? Is that a word? I just made it up. It's a great word, yeah. Um, so I'm a graphic designer, mm -hmm. and I'm very focused on lettering and typography. Okay. So it was through lettering and typography work that I started designing um, animated neon GIFs, which I drew the lettering for. Um, and you did that? Yeah. Wow. I made a series of these animated GIFs that... Um, where I was able to just explore different lettering styles. Right. And while I was researching neon signs and the history of them and how they flash and how they work and how they're made, mm -hmm. I totally fell in love with the whole world of neon signs. So that's how I got interested in it. I love that. I think I, I'm fascinated by that kind of stuff because I just think it just appears. But people like you have to create it and do it. And so it's GIF, not GIF. And there's a big debate about how to pronounce it, but that's how I pronounce it, Jif. Yes. Okay, so it's so then it's Jif <laughs> for our conversation for sure. Okay, and you've done you've done work like with Nike and even some celebrities like Selena Gomez, right? I designed a neon Jif for Selena Gomez about five years ago. How did that come about? Um, I, well, I'm a Jiffy artist, and Jiffy is a website where everything GIF exists and okay. flashes and um, they partner with a lot of companies and one of the companies they partnered with was her record company and so they got five different GIF artists to design GIFs promoting her album. Wow, okay. Well, I might have to get a GIF. Selena Gomez can have a GIF. I yeah. can have a GIF. Now you like to travel, I understand. Mm -hmm. And so you've lived in New York You've lived in England and Seattle, but you're you're here now. Did you do like neon tours in these other places too, or just here? In Portland? No, just here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do they they don't have neon signs like we do? Where? Everywhere, <laughs> anywhere. Well, every city does have its own special collection of neon, and oh. Portland's neon is very special. I mean, that's the thing about neon signs is they're all handmade and custom made, so. The ones that we have here in Portland are pretty much unique just to Portland. Wow. So it's a really important part of our city's identity, actually. Well, here you have some neon signs to show us. So talk about like why you feel like this is so special. Well, I wanted to start with something kind of ordinary. This is a dry cleaning sign from Ty's Dry Cleaners in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this sign are not only the two, two different colors, but that the one is outlined, which you just is, don't see very often. It's a beautiful shape, that one. Also, I just love the whole window. of You can see people's laundry that's ready to pick up, and it's all illuminated <laughs> with this bright red neon glow. Right, right. I like that though too, the colors go together. Mm -hmm. But you don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. Like, look at this one. 
Tell us about this. So Chin's Kitchen is also in the Hollywood neighborhood and was opened in 1949. And that's how old this sign is. Wow. Um, and it's a great restaurant. It's a beautiful sign. And it's it does actually animate to um, have the... the um, the that gentleman fellow like there eating, there eating dumplings. Get out of here! Yes, which you can wow. get at the restaurant too. That is really, really cool. What about this? Now, Portland Outdoor Store is one of the signs on our walking tour, and it's downtown. This store opened in 1911, but the sign was built in 1947, um, and it's a very unique sign because it has that horse and rider on the top, which mm -hmm. always reminds me that Portland's part of the West, you know? It's like, ah. it's kind of like the Wild West, and the store sells suits and ba uh, suits, I mean, sorry, um, saddles, yes. boots, western wear, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's just a beautiful old sign, and I love the lettering style, and um, it's just great. Now, this I'm familiar with. Now, the Laurelhurst Theater, this is actually, to me, one of the best neon signs I've ever seen in the world. Really? It's absolute stunner. If you've never stood across the street from the Laurelhurst, go do it, because it's absolutely stunning. What um, makes this so, I mean, I feel like, I mean, I'm not that into the neon signs. I feel like I've seen similar, but it does look really beautiful. Well, I'm not quite sure how old the sign is. I think maybe it's from the 50s. The mm. theater itself was built in the 20s, but um, the way that the letters taper from top to bottom, how the L is bigger than the T at the bottom, and oh. those two luscious script L's on the either side, I just think are so beautiful. Well, it is beautiful. And I think that I have a new appreciation now for neon signs. I'm never going to look at them the same way again. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So I'm sure you are now into neon too. So we're going to have more information about Kate and her neon sign walking tours on our website at katu.com. Don't go away. We're going to hear one woman's story about taking an unexpected path that led her to a very surprising ending when we come back.